Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everybody out there is having a great day. Just another beautiful, hot, sunny day here in Florida. But I just want to cover a couple of quick things real quick. Um, I'm going to be starting up a new series. It's going to be called Emergency Preparedness. And while we are going through the current crisis, and with the upcoming hurricane season upon us, there are a lot of people looking to be more prepared and ready for what comes next. What comes next is the biggest question of all. And most people are just wondering what they need to do and, and how to be prepared. Uh, once upon a time, being a prepper, we were all looked at like we're crazy, you know, what's this guy doing? Why is he buying that? Why is he doing this? You know, and everybody thought we were stupid. It was a waste of time and everything else. And now everybody is jumping on the bandwagon because of the current crisis. And that's obvious on what is going on in the stores. Now, what I mean by that is, is if you go to the store and you look to buy a freezer, you can't buy a freezer. Most places are telling you they're not going to be in stock until June or July of uh, this year. Um, if you go online, order a dehydrator. Uh, you can't get a dehydrator either. I waited a month and a half for mine. Um, canning supplies. I noticed on Amazon the canning supplies are starting to run a little bit, you know, low, and uh, some of them they don't have, and they won't be available till mid June. Um, I haven't been in a Walmart store in a month and a half, so I do not know what those supplies are like there. Uh, Marlar bags and oxygen absorbers, uh, they also are running low too. And any type of like your seeds and everything else, like you want to start your own garden and things, uh, a lot of sites are completely sold out. And if you go to the stores and stuff, a lot of those uh, little kiosks where you would pick those up at your Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, and those type of things are pre picked pretty clean. So, it's pretty obvious that people are starting to prepare. Um, one of the main reasons that I started my channel, Survival Preparedness for Beginners, um, is to get people to um, pay attention to what is going on, and especially for the beginners out there, so that they can learn how to do things, what they need to do, things they need to have, and those type of things. And that is my ultimate goal for my channel is to make sure that people are prepared so that we don't lose any lives that are unnecessary because somebody didn't know and being a small channel i am trying to get the word out there so if you'd like to share this uh, please do um, but once again um, we're going to be starting up a new video series called emergency preparedness and I'm going to cover a lot of different topics that I've already done videos on but I'm just going to make them short little videos and if you choose you need more information on those type of topics you can go back and watch some of the other videos that go in more great detail on that said topic so the videos will start coming out within the next day or two um, and once again they will be labeled emergency preparedness and then after that will be the topic. And please share this with all your friends and family, especially if they live in a hurricane prone area um, so that they can be prepared. Uh, they just announced just a little while ago on the TV that we may have our first uh, tropical depression forming off our coast um, this weekend. So it looks like the season's gonna kick up and start early because it's not supposed to start to June 1st, but Mother Nature is going to do what Mother Nature wants, and we have to be ready. So, until next time, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the Emergency Preparedness Series. Share it, and hope everybody stays safe. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.